good time is a film starring robert pattinson it's about a criminal who forces his mentally disabled brother to commit robbery with him the mentally disabled brother goes to jail and connie goes throughout new york city looking for money and selling acid committing crimes to get money to get his brother out of jail and uh it, it's a very it's very dark and fun exciting movie directed by the safety brothers and it stars robert pattinson robert pattinson he just says acting chips i mean this scene from the movie the lighthouse shows how good of an actor he is yeah yeah he killed that bird so Robert Pattinson is one of those awesome over-the-top scumbag criminals who's really messed up. Persona makes sense. It really makes sense how messed up he is because he wants to get his brother back. So he'll do anything to get his brother back. There's some scenes in this movie where you ask yourself, is what being filmed illegal? And I'm pretty sure that most of the uh, shots in this, like, they didn't have any permit because it's filmed, like, through, like, public areas of, of New York City. And it was really guerrilla, handheld uh, shot. And, and uh, the Safety Brothers are really good at capturing the uh you know new york city streets in this fun way and an exciting way and um yeah safety brothers have always been making some great films you know this is a dark movie but it's really fun and it's over the top and, and there's good like it's not a feel-good movie at all it's really just like it, it's fun to watch but if you want to feel good you won't because even though it's a fun movie at the end of the movie it's really kind of sad but I still enjoy. I still enjoyed watching it. May I think about untwisting and untangling these strings I'm in and to lead a pure life. Look ahead in a clear sky. I ain't gonna get there, but it's a nice dream. It was really. Tra it did have like a lot of like tra tragic moments towards the end. But it, it, was, it was fun to watch. And, uh, yeah, honestly, Good Time is, is a really good Safety Brothers movie. But Uncut Gems remains do do dominant throughout their career. And I have to watch some of their other movies. They have, like, a documentary on Lenny Cook. They have one on uh, Heaven Knows What. And they have, like, Daddy Long Legs. And, and they, have, uh, they have a lot of good movies that they've done at Safety Brothers. And uh, their, their accepting speech at the... Uh, film independent awards were hilarious I mean, and it's in the style of their movie their award because they talk in the movies that they make there's a lot of arguing and talking over each other and it's just hilarious the way they write conversations and i'll show you this clip miles. this one was probably about and Ronnie, 24, miles the collaboration the is unbelievable and that's Steve kind of like a your strength good long-term lease but, Except um, there was no like buyout option at the end. And I just I mean, want to thank. Ten years is, uh, I want, is a long time. I really want to thank everybody who worked and, uh, on this film. I have to. We I, couldn't have made it without I you. I have to thank. We have to and thank the, first the and foremost Sandler. The yeah, they they made Safety Brothers are tough, and and this is a pretty well written movie. And uh, there's also this fun like kind of like Scorsese esque like flashback sequences, kind of like. How, how they do in like casino that are like kind of funny like they tell like a specific character is like a little journey through like a fun flashback scene with narration and honestly like it was really fun to watch that for um that one character's flashback was really tough so um right away i'm getting a bottle of brandy and i'm already practically broke with the little money that was left in my account so i call my boy cully he comes through with some more liquor boys home, and man. some sticks of xanax my brother. He, he takes some sticks, I take some sticks. And by now we're all fucked up and I'm just feeling so good that I don't even give a fuck. So we both walk over to this boy Trevor's house, this guy who has this hustle going where he uh, he moves acid for this guy in the Bronx to this other guy in Long Island. But what they do is they skim a couple sheets off the top, you know, so they could have some money on the side for themselves before they make the delivery. Yo, Bells, Belvis, how much was that? Yo, son, pick me up, son. Yeah, honestly, a good good time. Uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, worthy investment of time, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's my rating for that film. Thanks for watching. I'll be see you guys in the next video.